Okay, so let's run through how to integrate audio from WISE into a Unity project. So the first thing we're going to do is create a WISE project. And I'll just create a new folder here for our project, we'll call this demo. Now, let's go to WISE, we'll create a new project, we'll call this, also call this demo. We'll save this into our demo folder. And we need to add the additional platforms that we'll be using. So by default, you get the Windows platform. Now we need Android because that's our target platform. And we'll add Mac as well because I'm I'm on a Mac here. So let's add Mac. Here's our three targets. Let's create our project. This might take a second. Okay, there we go. Now we need to add some sounds to our project. So we go to import audio files. Um, in this case, I'm going to add files. Uh, I've already got a file in mind called star.wav and hit import. That imports our file. This will now appear under our def default work unit. Now, um, the first thing we want to do is add an event to this. So we go to new event, right click on the sound, new event, and we're going to do a play event. Okay, there's our, there's our sound, there's its name. It's called play underscore star. And you can call this what you like. Um, in fact, we'll change this to be just play star. Okay. Um, once we have that, we can also hit the convert button, which allows us to convert it to the different platforms. We want it on Mac, Windows, and Android. Okay. Next up, we need to create a sound bank. So choose layouts, sound bank, and you can see our sound banks. We'll create a new sound bank, and we'll call this one sound effects, SFX. That now appears under here. Okay, um, now we can choose which platforms we want this sound bank to work on. And we also need to drag our sound. Oh, we need to create it first. Yep, there we are. Select the sound bank, drag the sound into the sound bank, and hit user settings. We override the default settings because we want to generate a header file. Hit OK and then we can generate. This generates the package that we'll be using to play sounds in our project. Next, we want to open Unity. <clears throat> and we're gonna create a new project. I'll call this test. We'll save this into our demo folder. Create project. Okay, here's our demo project. Now, we want to include some files into this project. So let's go back and I want to copy and play maker. So if we go to our test project assets, paste in play maker. Okay, and we'll also want to go to our, our uh, WISE project and find this generated sound banks. We'll copy that and paste that into our assets folder of our Unity project. Um, and now we'll also want to copy across, uh, let's have a quick look. Let's import that first. This may take a second, so let's see if I can find the other file we need. Okay, so we also need uh, this script called Playwise Sound. Okay, so we'll copy that sound into our project, so into our Unity project, which is called Test Assets Playmaker. 
actions and then we'll paste it into this actions folder. Um, so that should now be in here. Play, play wise sound. There we are. So we need to wait for this, um, all these plugins to continue loading in, importing all the assets. This may take a while. Uh, there's quite a few assets. Okay, so we now have a Playmaker project set up. Uh, okay, you may find that you get um, a a pop up here for uh, the Wise Wizard. If not, don't worry about it. So. A standard layout for Playmaker projects looks a bit more like this. And what we're going to do is firstly configure Wise. So now we've got the Wise um, plugin imported. We should now have. Oh, no, we haven't. Okay, so next up we need to import Wise into our project. So let's go and do that first. Oops, excuse me, what am I doing? Dragging things around. So this is the this is the Unity package here. So this comes from the Wise website. This is the Android Mac uh, Unity package. You'll need the Android PC package probably. We're going to import that into our project. Again, this can take some time. Uh, once this completes, you will get the the Wise plugin wizard menu pop up and uh, once that once that occurs we have to point that to the different paths um, for the relevant wise projects that we have in this project so give this a sec to complete is it completed okay I think that's finished. Uh, okay, it's because we've got our sound already in the pro already in the project. Now one sec. Let's try this again. Let's take the sound, the uh, wise sound script out. Let's go to test assets, playmaker actions, and find the play wise sound. Where is it? Uh, play play wise sound. Let's let's remove that for now. And let's try importing those assets again. Let's try that again. <clears throat> again, this, this may take a few minutes. Okay. So a bit confused. Ah, here we go, wise. So we have got the wise plugin now and wise settings. So we select wise settings and from the wise settings panel. Oh look, it's popped up with the wise wizard. We'll use that instead. So the wise wizard you select the path to your WISE project, which is this wproj file. Then the the sound bank needs to point to the generated sound banks folder, which in our uh, Unity project assets generated sound banks, and we choose that. 
So my destination file must be located within the Unity project streaming assets. Oh, okay. I put that in the wrong place. So if we go into our test project and we move this generated sound banks into streaming assets. Wait for that to complete. And we go to yeah, let's change that there to point to the right place. Test assets, streaming assets, generated sound banks. There we go. And then we hit the start installation. That fires up the um, the Wise website, and we should now also see this Wise picker. Uh, and this will just show the the demo project that we just created. Just wait for this to complete, importing all of the the sounds and, and whatnot. You can also drill down here and see your your project. Um, now let's make this a bit more playmaker friendly. Um, what we'll do is we'll create a blank game object, add an FSM to it, then. We need to find this that script that I mentioned earlier that is the playwise sound. Copy that now into your project. So the Unity project assets playmaker actions. Copy that in there. Come back into Unity. Give it a set to update. It's just uh, updating. And crikey, it's slow. Are we done yet? There we go. Okay, now it's done. So now we've got our first state machine here. We can now find in your list of actions wise audio and we have a play wise sound. So we'll add that to our FSM. So we know that our sound bank is called SFX and we added an event called play star. Okay, and now if we run our project, it plays the, the sound effect that we added to our WISE sound bank. And that, I believe, should conclude this tutorial.